Monthly Jazz. I'm Jessica Randall. And I'm Michaela Fenoir. And these are your announcements for December 7th. Attention all grads. There's a sign-up sign sheet at the office for all those interested in being interviewed for this year's grad DVD. Interviews start next week. There's a sign-up sheet posted outside the SRC office for all those who would like to perform at the Coffee House next Thursday. Even if you don't want to perform, come out and enjoy anyways. And now we go to C016 for the DR Spotlight. Welcome to C016 uh, here at Ferguson High School, our beautiful, beautiful art exhibit, student, specific student art gallery. And I hope to see all of you come down, take a look, chill out, because that's what um, art exhibits are all about. Um, it's a place where uh, you can rest your eyes and mind and uh, look at some beautiful interpretive art. How did this art exhibit come into being? It was an idea that uh, started years ago, but didn't pan out until maybe three years ago. We got together and decided, uh, hey, let's make use of that empty room of ours. Not bringing people into the school to see art. We are we'll be going out. So this way we're doing something completely different. If the art is selected by the, the teacher, the classroom teacher, and they take uh, artwork that's representative of what's being done in the classroom. And we also look for um, students who have produced a high quality uh, artwork. The value of the art exhibit um, is a place where um, students can chill. Now let's say if we, we look at art galleries elsewhere, uh, why do we have them? You see a world that's a crisis, there's a lot of stress, people are losing their jobs. You have a place where you can go relax, you can muse, you can think, and, and I like using that word, and chill. This is a way of um, the students and also the staff and, and the community to see the uh, talent of our students and also the artwork that's being produced in all the classrooms. Well, this exhibit will be uh, here for uh, two, three months, and then the artwork is given back to the students after they finish the term, and then we create another art exhibit. But with the gallery here, we're hoping to expand the gallery. Uh, we have a door over here that we're going to open and expand into. Uh, another room and actually um, each of the teachers is going to have a little wall um, for, uh, for their students. Um, if you come down to the gallery, we have a guest book here and we'd like for you to sign the guest book and tell us why art and art galleries matter. And if you write that comment down, we see your name, make sure it's clear, you may win a gift from a local The callback list for the Cherry Orchard has been posted outside Mr. Fedori's room. There will be a meeting in Mr. Fedori's room at the beginning of lunch for all those with callbacks. Yearbooks are on sale in the cafeteria from 12.30 to 1. They're $55 plus $5 for personalization. Payable by cash or check to FHS Yearbook. And here is Ms. Kilfillan <laughs> with an important announcement about the ELPA. <laughs> Good morning. As one of your graduation requirements, you must successfully complete the English Language Proficiency Assessment. This is a provincial assessment which tests your literacy skills. It is scheduled to take place here at FHS in January. All grade 9 students will be participating, as well as grade 11 and 12 students who have not yet successfully completed it. If you are in grade 11 and 12, and if you're unsure if you have yet to fulfill this requirement, please check with your homeroom teacher or your English teacher. You can also see me, Ms. Kilfillan, in the main office if you have any questions. The schedule with specific dates and times is posted in your homeroom class as well as in your English class. Thank you. There's open gym time today at 5.30 for anyone that would like to play some badminton. The FHS Swim Team Provincial Championship competition is this weekend. The bus leaves at 7 a.m. from Prospect Street parking lot on Saturday, December 8th. Make sure you have your team gear and racing attitude. CISV and your SRC invite you to join the biggest human rights event of the year. Amnesty International members, letter writers, and human rights supporters across Canada and around the world are getting ready to mark Human Rights Day, December 10th, by taking part in Write for Rights. Please join us in writing a letter on Human Rights Day. It's a simple act that can save a life. I'm Michaela Fenmore. And I'm Jessica Randall, and this has been The Daily Roar.